Today we're going to be looking at the XKX250 um, and doing a repair for the third motor, um, which is this one here, uh, which burnt out yesterday when I was flying, and uh, only because of frequent use, and I have been in high rates for for quite a period of time now, so you'd expect. Uh, to get some wear and tear from the motors, particularly brushed motors, which this one does have. Um, this is a great quadcopter and, and um, highly recommend the XKX250 for those who are looking to get into um, particularly FPV or acro uh, flying um, with brushless and that's my next destination is to get um, there. I've already ordered my next quadcopter, which is going to be a brushless quadcopter. Um, and uh, that should be arriving soon. But uh, in any case, I still need to repair this one because I still want to fly this. This is a really good flyer. Um, very, uh, very exciting to fly, particularly um, if you are in high rates and can get this running in high rates with the right uh, transmitter. Um, so I've ordered a, a WL Toys transmitter, which I am using. Uh, with this particular quadcopter and it, uh, it does work uh, in high rates and um, you know, it's very enjoyable to fly. So we're going to be looking at repairing this motor now and taking swapping it out with a new motor. I bought it a new motor, it costs about $10 on Banggood. Uh, so what we'll be doing today is taking these screws out. So you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 screws uh, to take out which we'll get started on now. And you don't want to lose these because these are quite small. The great thing about these are that, you know, any repair you do isn't going to cost a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> You know, to replace a motor for ten dollars, look, I'm not worried about that at all. Particularly when these, you know, cost sixty dollars new uh, for the quadcopter. So there's the top plate, which just pops out. And this is really the first repair I've had to do, and I've had it for about two months. So it's been good flying, folks. I've enjoyed it. Now the motor we want to get to is that one there. Just pops out. And there she goes, she pops out. There's the motor. Alright folks, so now it looks like what we've got to do unscrew four screws on the uh, flight controller We can see that it's connected there. And what we might do now is just run a test to make sure that you know it's not the connection 
So I'll take it out, reconnect it, and uh, test that it's not actually the connection, but it is the motor. So guys, I've actually located the motor, which is this one here, um, and pulled it out of the flight controller. Um, and I've actually tested using my transmitter to make sure that that is the correct motor. It wasn't a connection problem, um, and in actual fact the motor is dead. So I'll be swapping that out, replacing it with a new motor, uh, and popping the new motor back in. Um, so guys, uh, I'll be doing that now, um, so stay tuned.